Hi everyone, Eric Goins from Automate Intelligently here. I had a request to show how you could add users to an update. And really this is for almost anything you could add users to an invoice or to um, you know a news article, to a group, uh, whatever, and this uh, will limit their interactions with that. So let me show you it live and then I'll show you how it works. So what you can do is um, this will create an update. Let's have this load. Okay, so when I click this button, these are my updates previously, uh, this will create the update and it's in draft mode. This is just text from before. So you enter the update name. So I'm just gonna call it test three. I'm going to publish this. You'll see that there's an update here. Nobody was added. And now let me add, create a new update and I will add myself to that. So this is uh, the new update and you can see myself added as a user there. So let's see how this works. So first, when you click this, actually you know what, let's look at our data collections first. Okay, so we have users and we have updates. That's it, it's very simple. Um, updates, I gave them a name and a status, and then they have a relationship with users. This is many to many. Many users can be on an update. A user can have many updates. So let's see how this works. So when you click the create update button, it will create an update. And I put that status as draft, okay? And then there's no name, there's no users on it. It's just a blank update. Here we have our update name. We have a list of users. So this is just all users. And we have a toggle. This toggle is, does the current update users include current user or not? So it's default to inactive. If you click that, it will add that user. If you click it again, it will remove that user. And then what we do is we publish that update. So we update the update because we, on this screen, you have the update in the um, available data. So you can see the current update. And then, so we update that, we add the name and we change the status to publish. We don't do anything with the users because that was done here. Here what I've done is I have a list of all of the updates, okay? And really what we should probably do is you'd probably um, put a filter here to status to published. So um, hopefully that was with a capital P, but it doesn't really matter. And then in this, I actually have dropped in a second list in this custom list. And this is a list of users filtered to the current update users. So that's where you could see whether I was added to this list or not. Um, from there, what you can do is you could actually filter all of the updates to be whether the um, they are the logged in user updates. So if you were to look at this, Let me double check my status here. I think that is my issue. Oh, you know what? I'm actually not a logged in user right now. That's, uh, yeah, I don't think I'm logged in. So that's probably why. Um, but basically you would have seen test one, test two, test four there. You would not have seen test three because I didn't add myself in um, test three. Oh, so this is published there. Let me try this. Um, let me see if I am logged in. Check this whole list. Uh, list of updates. I didn't save my uh, published thing here. Anyway, um, so, so that's how you'd filter this list to only show to the users who were in that update. And you could also um, add notifications to this. Um, 
or send send them uh, have some kind of notification that there's a new update for them elsewhere in the app because um, they would have uh, that would be a new action here. So if you have any questions, let me know. If you like content like this and my other videos, check out my course Nodalo. Uh, that's where I teach you how to do all these things and much, much more. Thanks.